fire, homemade thunderclouds, more explosions, gummy worms, designer shoes, and explosions. Well, if anyone can make science fun, interesting, and relatable, it's Kate Bieberdorf, or more famously known as Kate the Chemist. From her appearances on the Today Show to Stephen Colbert, she is a rising star, and now she's a Hoosier. This was her first week on the job at Notre Dame, taking on a role that has never existed uh, in the U.S. until today. Kylie Valletta has that story. Kylie. That's right, Gary. Dr. Kate Bieberdorf, or Kate the Chemist, as seen on TV, is now Professor for the Public Understanding of Science at Notre Dame. The University of Oxford is known for pioneering the strategy to promote its science, and now Notre Dame is the first school in the U.S. to launch the same experiment to highlight its science. Yes! I'm Kate the Chemist. She's nationally known for breathing fire, explosions, and major TV appearances. And now her mission is to bring that same notoriety to Notre Dame. And I think what you're going to see in the next five years out of this campus is going to be absolutely groundbreaking. As professor for the public understanding of science, a brand new faculty position, Kate's job is to shine the spotlight on the scientific discoveries and research taking place at Notre Dame. I want to give the gift of science to the community. We're going to start local here in South Bend, then we're going to take over Indiana, and by the end of my five-year stint here, which I hope it's longer, but the contract's five years, but at the end of five years, we're going to take over this entire planet. <laughs> the significance of research is often lost on the public because it can be hard to explain, but Kate's job is to simplify high-level science and then take it to the masses. I hate to say it, but I'm going to take the Gen Z approach. It's social media, it's YouTube, it's getting a camera on these people and then helping them translate the science. When they go into the jargon, I can be next to them and be like, okay, hold on, let's translate what you just said. Notre Dame wooed her from the University of Texas by offering the chemist her dream lab, a maker space that's part science, part studio. So I'm going to have all my gloves, all my tanks of gas, all my safety equipment. But on the other side of the lab, you're going to see the lights, the camera, the action that you would usually see in a studio. And so we're going to get the scientists into this lab. I'm going to teach them how to present their science in a good way. And we are going to just be shouting from the rooftops about this amazing science. But it will be shot well, it'll be edited well, and it will be in manageable chunks that everyone from a boomer all the way down to Gen Alpha will want to ingest a doctorate holding chemist on campus. All right, so Teddy, what I want you to do is have fun with that and breathe it out at somebody. Dr. Bieberdorf will still moonlight as Kate the chemist. The goal is to, to lift up the public understanding of science. And if we can do that by lifting up Notre Dame's rankings as well, like win-win. I want you to answer, answer a question as loudly as you possibly can. Here we go. Do you like science? A hypothesis that the prominence of Notre Dame's College of Science will be as explosive as Kate's chemistry. And I think that we are going to prove to every single campus in the United States that you need this role if you want to shout from the rooftops how good your science is. And Kate is not too far from home at Notre Dame. She grew up in Kalamazoo, about an hour well, drive yeah. from Notre Dame, and her uncle was head chef at Notre Dame. So she actually spent some time as a kid on campus. Oh, that's great. And, and you know, science, STEM, the STEM field continues right. to be male dominated. That's not lost on her, right? No, she says she really leans into that. I mean, this is a pre prestigious role, very public. She wears her Louis Vuittons, her pencil skirts, her jewelry. She really leans into that. She wants to show little girls that you can aspire to be a scientist too. It's good stuff. Great report, yep. Kyle. As always, thanks. Mm -hmm.